those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Oh well. It looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes.
Лиса? О, Рейн! Что ты делаешь здесь? Ты ел слишком много? Моя мать говорит нет, но мой мозг думает, что да. Ты все хорошо? Ты видишь? Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be f Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa, look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow! You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even bigger. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Reinford group. What you saw in River Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel... It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford Group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern... You know about those, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world.